Here's how to use OpenAI's playground. Let's do this. First, visit beta.openai.com forward slash playground. I'll put a link to that in the description. If you haven't already, you'll need to sign up for a free account with OpenAI. You can log in using your Google account or your Microsoft account. Once you log into the dashboard, click on Playground. OpenAI's Playground is not as sexy as the ChatGPT interface. I'm not sure if sexy is the right word but it can do everything ChatGPT can do and a lot more. It's actually meant for developers. This is the place where you come to test the outputs your code produces before you release your app into the marketplace. Something to be aware of is that OpenAI's Playground is free only for a limited time. Currently, it's three months. After that, it becomes a pay-per-use platform. Now, I have Dyscalculia, which means I don't do numbers very well. What is that, Dyscalculia? So when I see pricing tables that talk about tokens, it's really annoying. It's 3 cents for 1,000 tokens or 6 cents depending on whether you choose chat mode or completion mode. I'll show you that in a moment. It's 3 cents per 1,000 tokens for a prompt, but 6 cents for completion. But that's if you're using this model. This paragraph says to think of tokens as words. So 35 words equals 35 tokens. Why not just charge per word then? It's not a casino. And in case you're wondering, no, I'm not clear on the pricing. But anyway, let's continue. On the right, you'll see some options. The top drop down lets you choose a mode. Let's be wild and go with complete, which is what you saw in the pricing table. Under that, you'll see the model. The default right now is DaVinci, which is the same model ChatGPT uses. It's also the most powerful, so let's go with that. Under that is a temperature setting. Essentially, the higher you go, the more creative the AI gets. I'm going to go with the default. The maximum length slider enables you to set the length of the output. The rest of the options are applicable to developers, so let's ignore those and let's generate some text. The first thing to note here is that you can speak your text instead of typing it, or you can import an audio file which the tool will transcribe. And here's a quick tip, if you're using Firefox and this fails, then switch to Chrome. That seems to fix the issue. How could OpenAI improve their pricing plans? Then click use as input. Even the AI is confused about the pricing plans. Okay, let's continue and fingers crossed we don't break the AI. Let's first generate some text. Explain artificial intelligence. One thing to note is that OpenAI doesn't save chats like ChatGPT does, which is a bit annoying. There are some prompt presets you can use. Just be aware that choosing a preset will wipe out any text you've generated. Don't ask me how I know that. Let's hit the summarize for a second grader preset. You'll see some example text. Now let's paste our text back in and hit submit. And here's the summarized text. Chat mode, in case you're wondering, is where you can test inputs and outputs. This is where you would fine tune your app if you were developing one that interacts with OpenAI. To see what else you can do, go to presets and click examples. You can search for a particular example, view them by categories, or just click the ones you see on the screen. Clicking an example will show you an API call. I did say this is for developers, but you can click the Open Playground button to load the example prompt into the playground, then modify it as you wish and click Submit. And you can click the account icon in the top right and then Manage Account to see how much you've used. Sub, and I'll see you in the next video.